Testimoni tentara cadangan Yahudi Kristen sebelum masuk Gaza. Saudara ini adalah Haim, ia seorang Yahudi yang sudah percaya Yesus. Dan saat ini ia sedang berada di Gaza. Fakta Israel sempat bertemu dengan Haim tahun 2022. di bulan Desember dan di bulan Maret 2023. Mari kita simak testimoni sebelum Haim masuk ke Gaza sebagai pasukan tentara cadangan dari IDF. Namun sebelumnya mari kita simak bagian ini. <laughs> One day, all the nations will come before the Lord. It says in, in Revelation, yeah. one day they all will be gathered. And it says some will be like sheep nations that listen to the good shepherd who yeah. gathers. What does a shepherd do? He gathers the sheep. Yeah. Even Jewish people, they are the sheep. Yes? And there's the goat nations that the goats, they say, Ma, we don't, yeah, we don't we want, want, want to help. We don't want to be with the good shepherd gathering. <laughs> So those who help gather are, are those who follow the Good Shepherd. Thank you for gathering. Yeah. Let's pray. So, this one. Okay. Let's pray. Lord, we just thank you for the work of your kingdom. We thank you for the work of Indonesia. We thank you for the blessing as you bring the Jewish people home. And one day, you return here to Jerusalem. Here you will rule and reign. We bless you and we thank you, Lord. And we pray a blessing on Indonesia for the good work that they are doing. In Yeshua's name, amen. God bless you. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys all. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It will go to the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you from Galilee. Oh, my name is Sergeant Major Chaim. Male's been like fiddler on the roof. Lachaim, which is like two Chaim, <laughs> but it's to life, you know, Lachaim. So my name is Life, and I'm here on the ground near the Gaza border. Uh, my job is one of the hardest jobs in the world. I, I sometimes think of like uh, Tom Cruise Mission Impossible. And I think, man, it, it would be very, very hard for his team uh, in the movie, you know, to be able to do a high stakes hostage rescue with international elements, every kind of uh, booby trap, even MacGyver from back in the day wouldn't be able to get to, to pull this off without a very, very, very uh, supernatural hand of God. And that's what I'm so glad that we do have promised over us, the hand of God, because this is just extremely, really hard. And then on top of rescuing hostages, dismantling a terror group that's working with Iran, that's working uh, internationally, uh, along with Houthi rebels, with their, uh, you know, the, with just the, the, the amount of players, the amount of um, even, even tools and weapons that they have, But, uh, you mean, they've really advanced. They have the Nukba force, which is like an elite unit. I'm an elite unit. So the Nukba force is similar to that. And then, of course, Hezbollah has the Rodwan force. And then the Houthis in Yemen. And then the Izzaldin al-Qassam. And then the Islam Jihad. And the Jabhat al-Nusra. And so on and so forth. So all that facing us looks really, really grim with the backing of Iran. And, you know, Russia, China. Who are they funding, you know? There's a lot of pieces here uh, in, in the mix. And we, our job is clear, dismantle this terrorist threat, restore security to the region, rescue the hostages, uh, provide security to the people of Israel. Many reservists, uh, some, you know, many people serve in the army, but we've been able to call up, you know, a lot. a lot of reservists. I wouldn't be surprised if there's half a million reservists in a country of just over 7 million Jewish people, um, 9 million total in this in this country, but about 7 million. So about for about almost somewhere near, you know, getting near half a million reservists called up. Uh, they, they come out of their normal life. You know, I run a charity. That's what I do called Ali Return Center. That's my normal life day in, day out, helping immigrants who made their immigration to Israel from like war-torn Ukraine, for example. That's been a big thing for us in the past, you know, while. And uh, and so leaving everything and our whole team, I have 12 Galileans or so. That's a famous number because that's how many Yeshua chose in the Galilee. 
But uh, so that about 12 Galileans and, and that's what we do is run a charity and all these kind of people have to come. They get the robot voice or they get the SMS or they get a, a call up and it says you've been activated report immediately to active duty. You are now a, a soldier and you are ha- going to have to risk your life. Say goodbye to your kids. I have three kids My like, wife. wow, you know, leave everything, leave your wife and, and leave everything. Just go. And they say it doesn't say for how long are you going to be here for? A month, two months, three months? How long does it take to not only dismantle Hamas, but we'll talk about what's next after they're dismantled and uh, where do we go from here? And uh, so uh, let me just tell you, it's a, it's a mind. Um, it, it's keeping your mind stayed on the Lord is what really what you really need. Otherwise, even physically, it's hard and mentally it's hard. And um, yeah, it's a war. It's it's and it's been a long time since uh, America. And many in England, many Western countries that we talk about, it's been a long, long time since they've been at war and especially war on their borders. It's different and it's it's a shakeup. You realize you're fighting for your very home. You don't want to have you don't want to wake up and have enemies at your door. <laughs> Is that and I don't know if I've even answered correctly your your uh, your question. But today I was just I was part of our job here for the past, you know, two weeks, three weeks has been um, clearing bodies. Now, clearing bodies doesn't mean just pick them up. A lot of them are booby-trapped, whether it's Jewish bodies, whether it's terrorist bodies that were in different firefights with people from my unit. Friends of mine were, uh, you know, there's female fighters, the lionesses. Oh, my God. They are, that's not their actual unit name. But they are, we just, it's a nickname. And they, they took out some hundred terrorists, another few friends of mine. It's like King David's Mighty Men. I mean, against hundreds. I mean, there was thousands of highly trained and also not highly trained operatives that came through. Uh, the Nukba is the highly trained ones of the Hamas, the elite force. And they, they were trained for months by um, by uh, Iran. That's known. But anyway, my just t- so what I'm saying is uh, we go and clear these bodies for explosives. Some of them are, are rigged to blow. Some of them planted explosives in different places, in backpacks for kids. The kids get to go try to get his backpack and blow up um, doors. Because um, they just got in so far in so many areas. It's it's a lot of houses to clear. Where is there is there a, a tripwire they left? Are they still there? Are there some terrorists still in certain areas at the border, near the border? I was doing that today. I've been doing that stuff. My friend, he's a believer here. He cleared about 100 bodies in the last short while. You start to see more bodies than you've ever wanted to see in your life. And uh, so that's kind of what it's been like in this past while waiting for the larger. Of course, there's many incursions, you know, that into Gaza to try to find hostages. But that's not really on the news. What is really planned, is, as you know, is a giant incursion with everybody and their brother and sister and go in there to complete the aforementioned remo- removing the threat removing the terror and restoring uh, security to our borders and actually helping the Palestinians out too they are under fear from this oppressive uh, demonic uh, uh, these monsters and uh, and the stuff I saw today just you know bullet holes in every car bullet holes in every house and uh it has been it has been just horrific. Every day again, I say, man, here's where they're hiding in the bomb shelter. But then they they were able to get in and murder everybody. Here's all the blood. They threw grenades in these houses. Now these are innocent, law abiding, kind women and children who are all shot up. I, and if anyone ever tries to have a false perspective of they're fighting for 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 Gaza or for the Palestinians or for anything, they're mistaken. They're mistaken. They're, they are uh, fighting for the devil and for kill, steal, destroy. There's no freedom for Palestine. In there. They hate the Palestinians. They just ordered, they themselves, the Palestinians, just ordered to shoot point blank anyone who goes south as we've commanded. Uh, I'm a commander too. Commanded them to go south. And hey, go into the Sinai. Uh, escape from the wrath of God to come upon the Hamas. And so they said anyone who leaves, civilians who leave will be shot point blank.